We're live here. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey. So I'm Tyler Price, and I got Valerie Smith in the car, 67 Bug. We're going to cruise around and talk a little bit. Uh, Valerie is someone that just does what she wants. Exactly. When I she do what wants. I want. She lives her life <laughs> with complete reckless abandon. Uh, There's so, actually more truth than yes, that, you know. Yes. <laughs> So she started during COVID, you started Idaho Falls Food to Go, which mm. the restaurants were very grateful for. It's still one of my favorite things when you <laughs> come on live at wherever you're going to be. And because you just never know what's yes, going to happen on that. Yes, that is a great one. <laughs> uh, you do the Wall of Warmth, which I love the that. Wall of Warmth. During yeah. wintertime, she puts all these coats on a wall and people come and get them, and we'll start the bug and get Ooh, rolling let's a little get bit. Rolling. It's just like high school back yes. then. Yes, yeah. Of course, That's... I wasn't in high school in 67, but still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm only 19 and a half. Yeah, so, so yeah. But, but I would Parents envision that's then. what it was like. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, so then you also, just because you have all this, you know, you live life doing what you want to do, you're Gem State Rodeo producer. Yeah. And I love the rodeo. So when I was a kid, uh, growing up in Salt Lake, the Days of 47 Rodeo was a yes. big effing deal. And it was awesome. And I've been to that many times. Yep. It's a great rodeo. And that was uh, one thing my dad used to take us to pretty regularly. Uh, and then I don't know what happened. We quit going. But but it was my favorite part was the, always the bull riding. Just oh, so you know. Well, it was more, more the clowns like teasing the bull, <laughs> I think. But, yeah. Seeing who gets mucked out. And, yeah. <laughs> Putting them in the barrel and letting yeah. that bull just hit them and hit roll them. them. Yeah, then, yeah, that's my favorite part too. And and then you do a little bit of real estate on the side to pay for all once, this stuff. Once, once, in, once in, a in a while, while I fit in a little real estate. Uh, yeah, yeah, like all the time. So <laughs> one of my coolest, our coolest, Allison and I, we really appreciate. Uh, well, Lisa Anderson made the. That's how we got to know each other. And yep. And you just do cool, cool stuff. But uh, but what's your what is your favorite? Give you a favorite project that you do because honestly, I could uh, do this all day long, and I don't even like to talk to people. So. Um, you know, I don't know. I really like. I guess I love to help people. Yeah. And I love to see things come together. Yeah. I love to take like a, an idea and just blow it up and make it big. And there's nothing small about. Uh, <laughs> Who's that? What are Lisa they saying? Anderson. Lisa Anderson. We gave you a shout out. Yeah. Lisa. <laughs> we, Lisa's my best friend. Lisa is his wife's best friend. Yeah. And so we we automatically yeah. had to become friends. Yes. yes. So it's just a thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I really love taking an idea and blowing it into something big. Yeah. And and I love seeing how big we can make it. And, and I guess it's just... Nothing is ever small with me, yeah. and I don't understand why it just yeah. is what it is. But you know, it's like the wall of warmth. We had an idea. Uh, one of my partners and I had an idea that you know, let's let's do a coat drive. We want to do something to help the community, and then all of a sudden we uh, we ended up setting a goal of giving away 600 coats and putting them on a wall and letting people come get them and yeah. bring them. So it turned out the first year we over exceeded our 600 coats yeah nice. the next year we went to 1200 coats last year and this year we've expanded it to not just on lincoln in idaho falls but we have a location in saint anthony rexburg rigby um shelly blackfoot and pocatello awesome. so we have 6,000 coats that is our goal to give away so wow. yeah if anybody has coats old, old coats right there because we all do right your we kids all, outgrow them especially yeah. the kid coats right kid coats yeah. are a good one and so. there's nowhere to take them right now so yeah. save them uh as of the first of october we're going to be collecting them and in fact if you want to get them to me i'll collect them right now and and lila motto is uh barbershops are drop off austin Ex cades a drop off exactly. they, in other places too right that yep. the people can drop off coats so yeah. yeah so we've been taking things and making them big but uh one of the like my most favorite event and i think it's my most favorite because it's always been a dream of mine to produce a a pro rodeo yes Yes. And that's coming up in two weeks, two September seventh and eighth. Yes. At, awesome. So the Idaho State Fair gets killed, but they keep the rodeo. They keep the rodeo and they keep the 4-H. And the 4-H, which and, is great. Love the 4-H. Yeah, because that's you know 
shows, 4 H shows and livestock shows, yeah. that's really where our fair started. Yeah. yeah. And so, and also those kids, like a lot of people don't know, but those kids put their heart and soul all into those year. animals yeah. all year. Yeah. And then they are able to sell those animals for really a pretty high dollar. And that's how they fund their college, their, their schooling, all of the different yeah. things that they do. And they buy their next animal with it. So it's a big issue for these kids. Yeah. And for them to not be able to have it, that's really tough. But yeah. we're having the rodeo. Yeah, yeah. And so, but now, so the rodeo, it's just business as usual or what's happening with it number of, of people that can attend, things like that. So the first part about it, I got to tell you, and you know, I told you my dream yeah. was to always produce a, a pro rodeo. Well, that pro rodeo started nine years ago. So that dream had come true. But then the first time my son and I, my son Wyatt helped me get this started. And we always said, you know, what if we made small market rodeo of the year? That would be the ultimate. Yeah. Last year we did it. Wow. In just eight years, wow. we made small market rodeo of the year, which beat out over 700 rodeos in all of yeah. the United States and Canada. Yeah. So it was a big, big deal for us. And it was totally, it just was like the highlight of my life when we received that award. Well, that's kind of speaks to who you are because it is, it's like, a little competitive, a little driven, a little, little, uh, little, yeah, yeah, so, oh, so there's an award? I'm going to win that award. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 uh, you wonder where my kids get it, right? <laughs> you wonder where my kids a bull rider. So, so, so Wyatt is, uh, competes on a national level, is that right? Wyatt does, yeah. um, my oldest, he's a, a steer wrestler, team roper, a very good trainer, horse trainer. He made it to the NFR, the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He made it in 2014. Garrett, my middle son, has made it three years, and he's a bull rider. Yeah. He's the crazy one of yeah. the bunch. <laughs> and then Payson, my <laughs> yeah, Payson, my youngest, is a horse trainer for a big, big horse trainer in Oklahoma. Okay. So you know they've all got that that going for them, and just love rodeo. And but so, did you compete in high school? I did. Yeah. I and what was your event? I did them all. All yeah. the girls' events. Uh -huh. uh, my favorite one was breakaway roping and the goat tying. And a lot of people don't know this, but I coached. And so I went and coached in Canada before it was really that much of a sport in Canada. And I coached, there were three division champions and a college champion that I coached. Wow. We started them, started them as little kids and then watched them grow up. And yeah. it was just awesome. Uh, I went back up six years in a row. And, you know, that was a few years ago, but it was still pretty exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. Because I love coaching. I, I'm not doing it this year, but I've coached football for about 15 years now. And Oh, yeah. Uh, it so anyway, good yeah. And it's just like when you're around the kids. And so you, and I saw him one, uh, the, one of our, well, the varsity quarterback at Hillcrest uh, yesterday was in the shop getting his hair cut. And, oh, fun. And so, and I coached him when, you know, when he was a freshman. Now he's just this big man that's ready to uh, to be the, the man this year. So anyway, yeah, what's that like seeing a kid kind of uh, get it and figure it out and then go have success? That's, there's nothing like yeah, it. Yeah, that's you know, fine. It, It's just like this big sense of being so proud of them and, and knowing how hard they work to get there. Because yeah. you don't just get there like, yeah. boom. It is so much work for the kids and, and so much work for you as a coach. Oh, that's yeah. why I'm, I'm grateful to see in Idaho that we're moving forward and I hope that nothing prevents the, the kids uh, seasons because this kid's been in football since fourth grade and this is what they shoot for is their senior year yeah and, and if it gets pulled so and anyway. so much riding on it but yeah. the college and yeah. everything is just and you know what no matter what you look back at that when you're our age which is still we're only 19 yeah. and a half yeah, but and when that you look back at it those are some of your biggest memories yeah and yeah. And to have that taken away, it would just be bright. Yeah. It would just be heartbreaking. So. But let's talk about the let's rodeo. Let's talk about the rodeo. That's where I was going to go. So <laughs> so it's in September 7th or? or September 7th and 8th. 8th. Yeah. Starts at 7 o'clock both nights. And we are one of the only four. Usually Idaho has like about 20, 25 pro rodeos. Like the big professional rodeos. They're, this year there's only four. Wow. And we are one, one of, of the them. four. Yeah. And so we're very thankful to be able to do it. 
Uh, but we have some changes this oh, year. Okay. We work directly with the mayor of Blackfoot, and he's been very good to work with. And the public health department's been good to work with. But they put some restrictions on us. We're only allowed to have 25% capacity. Oh. Yeah, that's a killer. That is a that's, killer. That's been tough. Yeah. But you know what? We're making it, and we're going to do it. What that means to everybody else, though, is you have to get your tickets right now. Yeah. And you can get them at funofthefair.com. We will give you general admission seating, but the people that you order with, we will then assign seats to it. Okay. After that, you will have your assigned seats. Okay. So just so, get the tickets right now because they will sell out. Yeah. And on the flip side of that, we're going to have less of a crowd. It's still going to be fun. Yeah. We're because we've got the same professional stock. We've got Keith Isley coming, who is the nine time uh, entertainer of the year. So he is just a funny man. He's gonna make you laugh the right. whole time. Yeah. And then we've got Jill Sound coming in. She's a professional sound person. We'll have the concert sound. So it's gonna have the great big feel. And then the announcer, we've got one of the top announcers in the pro rodeo, as well as back for the ninth year, the Powder River Rodeo stock. And oh. this bucking stock is the top of the line bucking stock. But then on top of that, it even gets better. Since there's no rodeos around, there's no place for cowboys to go. Yeah. We're going to have a packed contestant filled show. Top world cowboys, I mean, just world class cowboys, NFR qualifiers. We're going to have a ton of cowboys at this show. So, so it's really exciting. <laughs> So where you are going to sell out, I mean, is there any wiggle room on tickets or that's mm -hmm. tickets are what tickets are? Can you expand the days at all? No, no we really we're... can't because if you expand the days, you expand the cost. Yeah. And we're, right now we're having to just put everything together to cover the costs and be able to make rodeo in the first place. Well, Thank goodness our yeah. sponsors have stuck with us. Yeah, well, I mean, that is, that is a great thing because uh, it's easy to to be there when you're winning and it's hard to be there when you're not in this this year it's not necessarily from a financial side a, win, a winning proposition probably but i'm gonna say that i appreciate the fact that they're allowing the event to move forward but you know i think we should all be able to make that decision for ourselves and either go or not go uh, and to, to limit the number i mean it, it are, agreed yeah anyway agreed. i mean i've had a very strong position on this i think our governor's done it not to be too political, I think he's done a terrible job, and I think mm -hmm. some of our leadership, you know, at some point you got to let people make a decision for themselves. And if yeah. I get COVID, that's on me. It's not on anybody else. It's not exactly. the responsibility of my of the mayor or the governor. But again, appreciate the fact that it's moving forward. I was just hoping maybe you had some wiggle room to say, hey, you know, what if we go yeah. to fifty percent capacity? Or yeah, something? exactly. And. You know, I was hoping that if the numbers kind of went down, but the numbers aren't. Yeah. But you know what? People are getting tested. Yeah. That's why the numbers, yeah, are, going why the numbers are going up. Are going up. You know, it, it's one of those roller coaster things, and and I don't want to get into the numbers yeah, or any of that. But and I know it's supercharged, but uh, you know, yeah. anyway, I'm, it is what it is. And we are rodeo, and we have fought really, really hard to be able to do yeah, this. Cause, so because the rest of the fair got shut down. It did. And except for these except for 4-H in the rodeo. So that, yeah. anyway. So thank goodness we were able to do what we're doing. And yeah. like I said, we have a fair board that is phenomenal. They have stuck behind us and they've said, we want to go, yeah. let's go, let's do it. And, and there for a while, they wanted to do everything they could with the fair. It just wasn't feasible and wasn't possible yeah. this year. So they are really pulling out everything they can to take care of and yeah, to I do what we can. We got it's, something, right? So Exactly. So I'm jumping on after this, funatthefair.com. Yep, funatthefair.com. And, and no food vendors or anything there? There will or? be 15 food vendors. Okay. So we're not gonna go without the fair food. There'll be the corn dogs, there's the turkey legs, the okay. chicken teriyaki. Yeah. Uh, Blimpies is coming. There's, I can't name them all, but there are 15, 15 of them. Of them. So you're not going to go without the food. So we can stand with our big, huge turkey leg and yep. go on it. And, and, and you yell at the yeah, rodeo, yeah. yes. There we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah. September 7th and 8th. 7th and 8th. And, and you have to get your tickets now. You can't walk up and get them. Yeah. And so, they're almost sold out. Yeah, so, so I'm, like I said, I'm jumping on because that was, even last year we went to the one here in Idaho Falls. Uh, with, 
the war bonnet. Well, there we go, war bonnet, and that's a big deal. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So since the war bonnet didn't get didn't get to go, and you know we wish they were, because the oldest rodeo in Idaho. Yeah. We really over wish they were. Over hundred years old, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, well over a hundred years. So yeah. since you couldn't go to that, go to the newest, baddest pro rodeo, yes. <laughs> the Gem State Classic Pro Rodeo. Yeah. So. Well, awesome. I grateful that our paths have crossed and oh, yeah. between Lisa and Allison and you know they kind of let me hang out a little bit I'm kind of <laughs> not as cool but anyway because yeah I appreciate the cool stuff you do with the warm of the the, the, the wall, coat, of wall of warmth and the Idaho Falls food to go the gem yeah. state rodeo and you know, oh yeah, and by the way, you do sell a few houses here and yeah, there. Yeah, once in a while we, yeah. Uh, yeah, we go sell some houses like 24-7, uh, but yeah. in between we fit in with a couple of these other yeah. things. And you know, us, uh, the collaboration between myself and you and Allison works perfect because we are so community-minded. Yeah. Yeah. And the things that we do are, are all for the community. We love this community yeah. so much that we're willing to put a lot of things together for it. Yeah, it's no, just like the cool. video that we did, you know, you guys being involved in that video project. If you yeah. guys haven't seen it, I'll link it down below, but it's, uh, yeah, it, that did. was one of my I, very was, best things I've done I and I don't want to brag. No, that's, that was a great video. Well done. So yeah, awesome. check out that. What do you yeah. call the video? Because it's kind of like talking about Eastern Idaho. I am community. I am community. That's yep. right. I, knew, I am community. I knew I had so. a name, so. Yeah. But I'm right. old and forgetful, so. Oh, anyway. yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're just forgetful. We're not old, yeah, remember? Yeah, 19 and a half and forgetful, so. Uh, I know. Everybody says, no, I'm 29. Yeah. No, I'm 19 and a half. Yeah. And there's a reason behind it. So I'll tell you the story real quick. Yes. So I went to uh, visit one of my one of my clients. She's my ultimate favorite client. This little gal is just a spitfire. Anyway, she's showing me pictures of her and her husband skydiving six months prior. And I'm like, man, I just hope that when I'm your age, I can do that. And she looks at me and she goes, honey, how old do you think I am? And yeah. I'm like, oops, oops, I don't know. <laughs> and she goes, I'm only 19 and a half. And I just look at her like, what? And she goes, well, yeah, think about it. When you're 19 and you do something stupid and you're a kid, it, people will just go, oh, it's okay. She's just a kid. She'll be fine. Don't worry about it. But when you're 20, you're expected to be to an, be an adult. adult. Yeah, yeah. So but yeah. when you're 19 and a half, you can go either way. Yeah. Today, I want to be a kid. I want to ride around in a 67 VW yeah. bug. <laughs> and tomorrow, I may be sitting down and selling a house. I can be either way and swing either way. And so when I told, when I heard that, by the way, she's 72. Yeah. I'm like sold. I'm 19 and a half till the day I die. They will like put it. that on my headstone. There we go. And I preach it. And my son, I overheard him say one time to somebody, well, at least your mom doesn't run around saying she's 19 and a half. <laughs> and I just looked at him and said, at least I can. <laughs> Lots of fun though. It is. It is. <laughs> but, well, cool. Well, I'm Tyler Price. We I'm Valerie. Two, we got two things going on here, but I'm Tyler Price and this is Valerie. Hi guys over here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, super grateful for the cool thing she does. Support yeah. the rodeo. Come out to the rodeo. Buy your tickets. 25% of the people can be there. So you better jump on and get that stuff done right now today. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. We are not, we may be less on the people, but the excitement's going to be way up be because there. we're actually going to be able to do it. Yeah. So. Well, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, thanks awesome. for coming and cruising in the bug for a minute. You so. bet. Thanks, Tyler. All right. <laughs> we'll see, see you guys. Ya. Have a great week.